happened? I don't know. She just collapsed. In one second we're decorating, and then the next she's just on the ground. And maybe she forgot to eat. You know, sometimes she skips breakfast. And when was the last time you were like, Caroline? My mom would have said something to me. So my mom has a brain tumor. You're a good mom. I hope so. If they can't operate, then they'll give her chemo, right? The tumor is growing so fast, the doctors don't think that'll work. Well, then they're wrong. Because they don't know her. <laughs> they don't know how strong she is. I mean, she's gonna get through this. I said I was fine, Elena. I don't believe you. We're gonna live in our memories. We can do that. I'm gonna fall. I'm holding you up, sweetheart. You can't fall. And that's what I need. I just need pain to be gone. Hey, do you want me to mail that out for you? Oh, no thanks. I'm still working on it. I'll mail it out tomorrow. I have an idea of what I want to say. I just... I guess I want it to be perfect too. I want to read your letter. <laughs> Real Vaughn. I know. But if I were you, I'd still have some things to say. Hi, Mom. Hey, sweetie. Something wrong? Damon is dead! No! Oh, no! You are! What? You got sick and you died, Mom. And you want to know who was there for you the whole time? He's Damon. Stop it, Caroline. Stop making excuses. Believe me, I never thought I would see the day. David was a monster and he did terrible things to me and my friends, and I used to hate him for that. So why are you enduring all this pain and all this suffering for him? Because he was the only person who truly understood how much it hurt to lose you. And as strange as it sounds, that made me forgive him for everything else. 